Warning. While not currently regulated by the CDC, we feel obligated to make you aware of the potential health risks of viewing the following episode. Due to its highly tangential nature, we urge you to turn off your internet and seek medical assistance if you start to experience any of the following side effects. Drug abuse laughing alone in the stairwell of an abandoned building, dissecting the pain of your own existence, injecting heroin next to an open door. Heroin is illegal. Don't let people see you do heroin. Falling asleep on the floor before putting your pills back in the bottle. Someone could slip on your pills. Waking up to once again realize you did not die in your sleep. And once again you are lying in a warm puddle of mystery liquid. Please hold. You will be clinically insane in just a moment. Do not avert your gaze. Hope is no longer a word that carries any meaning for you. But most importantly, enjoy the show. Majama. Cockroach again. Excuse me, are you looking for someone? Uh, Jumbo, sir. Jumbo. I'd like to register my doo-doo for the rally. Your what? Your doo-doo? Yes. Doo-doo is Swahili, and it means something like love bug. I'm sure you remember her. <coughs> oh, and the movie is... Uh... Oh, yeah, what the fuck is the movie? Super, this, I think he doesn't this, even this, know. I think this one is Super Bug Goes Wild, yes. Because it, it has two or three different titles. Two or three different titles? Sounds like a really shitty video rental store. Got enough copies of Meet the Fokker, Shelly? <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Majama Jams, a show where we discuss other people's work to avoid doing our own. Now, we're going to need you guys to press stop on this, watch the movie we did today, and then explain it to us, because for the first time ever, we genuinely have no fucking idea what happened. It feels like we all just got down from a cough syrup binge. Uh, today's movie is Super Bug Goes Wild. Mateo himself had to check the DVD right now to double check it, because there's several titles, but I think the reason is we all have no idea what the fluck just happened. Well, it's a German movie. It's a, it's a German kids movie. And we all know how delightful and sweet the Germans are when they make... I can't imagine movies. this being a children's movie. Actually, I will say I did sure. find it very lighthearted and charming. But this... I mean... Like, this, was a, this was a movie. It, uh, it, 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 it was a, a series of images uh, uh, put together on celluloid initially and now move uh, to digital poorly i must say because uh, there is a better copy on youtube no, no, it than says than... enhanced audio and digitally remastered on the back it's right yes. there i'm looking at it what yeah. the fuck would they have done i think that they it, it refers to the actual cover of the dvd and not the movie itself because so uh, <laughs> we should we should probably at some point pop up the cover which as i said i'm not used to animated or cartoon should i say covers for non-animated movies yes the year is 1971 every cover is animated a young matteo molinari goes to the movie theater at 17 years old and says it's time to see Superbug goes wild he's been waiting all week and matteo what unfolds on the screen uh pass <laughs> don't <'cause> in this <laughs> way what's the matter so, no, uh, so the story is apparently there is a, a race in uh, uh, Tanzania. Tanzania. Oh, wow, I thought it was a random joke. You actually, see, you always retain more of this than I do. You say was, you hate it, it but we watch was... these things. We watch these things. When you, when you look at things, they get stuck in your head, right? It was on the door of the Range Rover of uh, Dakari Joe, the woman. The veterinarian. You remember her name? You're going to need to not use names and just <laughs> oh, describe sorry. people physically. Except for Doodoo. 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 Oh, yes. Right off the bat, get used to a lot of third grade humor because the car's name, which is 
alive and magical and cries in the last 20 seconds of the movie. This car's name is Doodoo. Your Doodoo? Yes. Doodoo is Swahili. So, little bug. <clears throat> um, there is this uh, race in uh, Tanzania, and the only reason why uh, there is a race is that clearly they had stock footage of a race uh, somewhere. Is it the master race? I'm sorry. Oh, the master race. Uh, I was talking about the German side. Of the the German side, yes. He had also the the wing, uh, the the eagle. Yeah, uh, uh, it, was it, was <laughs> it was very suspicious. Little suspicious. It was very. There suspicious. was some paint scraped <laughs> off. There was something else on there before. But the movie suggests that uh, Dudu is actually Herbie. <laughs> actually, the love bug. In in the American version, they uh, call him. I mean uh, the owner i guess uh, calls it uh, the uh, the love bug poop, poop. and <laughs> because in when american when, of course is poop poop when they wheel in uh, uh, the the car that came from hollywood imagine last year it won every single race in america you mean you brought it with you right here for me yes <laughs> oh look they're delivering it now <laughs> clearly has uh, visible the 53 on the door that it was the characteristic they of Herbie. Cut mid sentence from that scene yes. from another scene where you introduce the twelve people at an airport. No, you don't introduce to... anybody. You just say they put a they thing arrive in front of the of the They arrive promptly unannounced and there's about ten thousand millisecond jumps jump yes. cuts. As if, as if you had, like, I, I told you, Matteo, can you literally remove this much just for fun at every ten minutes? I think that the, it was just like ten a, seconds. a very bad uh, uh, film that they have to do the digital transfer, and so they try to do the best possible uh, with it, but sometimes they were just like... Now you just listen to me. You either drive that car in the Africa rally or stay at home. Jumbo. You remember when you were going to the movie theaters that they had the projector with actual film, sometimes it would get caught uh, and uh, it would already burn. And, uh, Sadly, so never to... saw it. <laughs> no? I always wanted to see it burn. <laughs> Oh, I've seen so many accidents. I've even You've seen... seen film burn? Yeah. I'm an old, old man trying to live all I can. I've even seen movies that started to be projected the second half, the second reel before the, the first one. So oh, it was, fucking idiot. Yes. But anyways, um, the, this, uh, the, the story of lack of, uh, of it is um, this uh, dilapidated bug gets uh, restored somehow. How would we know? How would we know? <laughs> we don't. No possible connection. <clears throat> and painted yellow. Yeah. <clears throat> One sentence. Is this it, out the, with it, this movie? It's it enters uh, a race uh, as a support car of a hovercraft, which for some reason is accepted in the race. Hovercraft is very cool. That's why. <clears throat> yes. And uh, they arrive at the end. Uh, at a certain point, uh, they find uh, some uh, rough diamonds uh, that uh, a guy stole. And uh, there is a sort of a reward uh, on these diamonds uh, that they eventually decide to donate to the clinic. And uh, they win the race. And that's it. Pretty much. Four. In a surprisingly... Doodoo less a movie of uh, Doodoo. <laughs> the there is really no. Goes wild. So apparently, this is supposed to be, you're saying this is the exact love bug gimmick. Yes. But we get a couple shots I remember of the headlights where they put a circle on to look like an eye. Yes. But it's not. Which are blatantly stickers because yes. one has a fold uh, also in, uh, in it. it. There's something blinking. Not well, whatever. until the very last 20 seconds that the car. Cries, actually, surprisingly no. pulling emotion out of me for it. When the whole goddamn movie, they gave zero sign of it but being alive. But you have the in, first in, in scene two, in two moments. Uh, it says uh, jumbo, jumbo. Oh Jesus, yeah. Jumbo, 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 jumbo. In two. But technically, mm -hmm. I think the first scene is supposed to mean when the guy who restored it is with the Italian stereotype. The car is wants them out, so it's driving itself yes. crazy through the field. 
hits that. Is that what was happening? Guy's bike. I guess. And then they're like, "Oh, hey, we don't want it anymore. You can have it." Um, and so that's why they get. That's why that that guy gets the car. Why was that guy in a cage bike? Because it will protect him from lions. Yeah. And who, oh, sorry. Who was that guy? <laughs> The main star. <laughs> the guy in the cage back. Yeah. Yeah. The original guy. Elizabeth the, Hasselbeck. The, no. Then at the end uh, is the guy who actually sold uh, um, Dudu to him and wanted. To buy you paid bed. for Dudu? <laughs> the level. He sold Dudu to him. <laughs> Term. Not Green That's Day's in, Immortal in, uh, 1994 album? Caddyshack. Doogie? Yeah. I did not know the meaning of it. Doogie? So, yeah. When I saw, when I watched uh, Caddyshack for the first time, it was in VHS, which I bought it in London, England. And uh, I had, no, I mean, I, I got the, yeah. the, the scene, but I didn't know what they were yelling because it was a term that was completely foreign to me, <clears throat> literally. It does feel very 90s. Again, I'm probably, it's, it's hopelessly feels... tied into the Green Day album for me, but yeah. it does feel like a 90s word. It also feels very um, animal feces. Dookie sounds like? No, Dookie to me sounds like a very specific, like teenage type. Like you've graduated to the level where poop isn't funny, and now Dookie is funny. I don't know. Dookie always seemed like, oh what my is god, the level that, of that monkey Dookie in the car. Uh, it always seemed like more of an animal thing. But it's not a verb. It's just like a. a... I guess anything can be a verb. Yeah. I guess <clears throat> there's a lot of weight behind the fact that all of us turn our nose up at fart humor, and yet there's nothing that that is that intrinsically funny, like. It's just, you could try to be the best comedian in the world, and you'll make people laugh, and you'll have a joke they'll say is well-constructed, but then I could go into a diner and fart, and, like, someone would laugh harder than they would at your well-written joke. Maybe it's I, just facts. Yeah, diner, but, yeah. Yeah. It's like when uh, in, uh, <sighs> I think it's the Revenge of the Pink Panther, that they were shooting a scene in uh, an elevator where everybody is, uh, including Clouseau, he's uh, masked as a... Uh, Mafia balls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and suddenly Brick said, oh, stop, stop. I got a great idea. Whilst they're sizing each other up, and one's looking like that, and Closer's looking like that, and all this sort of business going, the George Raft routine. Someone should break wind, you see. <laughs> and that uh, would... Now they'd all... <laughs> so we said, yeah, but um, if, we, if we do that, what, what's going to happen? I mean, uh, how are we going to... Oh, we said, that's all right. I'll say now. 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 <laughs> 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 we, we can do it, we can do it. <laughs> so that's what started it. And then Blake said, all right, I won't say now. We said, now is the word that's doing it, Blake. Now is, now is causing the trouble. 
So he said, all right, okay, I'll make a noise. How's that? And it's, it's, it's one of the great illusions of life, I'm serious, that we have this idea that that's the lowest brow of humor, and yet, I feel like that's what brings the real it's, primal tear laughter. Not only that, it is, is one of the few things that everybody does. Yes. Yeah. You do, it doesn't matter if you are... Well, top. you guys want to break down why a fart is funny? Well, I have an even better idea. You know, what's, you know what's this a great chance for? Fart. What's this a great chance for? To fart. Doo -doo. No, 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 no. Oh. What's this a great chance for on uh, our show? Farting. In this moment. It's obvious answer. Uh, Puff art. Puff to arts. finally show something to the public. Come on, don't let me down here. It's our show. Don't make We're me talking about farts. You, um, farts. It's time for the public to finally see the cut bad CGI sharks fart joke. Which one? Oh God! Do you really not remember? Oh, your fart joke. Well, you're written, but my joke, yeah. I don't need to distinguish that. I was giving you credit. I said you wrote it. I don't want credit for that. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Do you guys honestly not remember we had a Wait. fart joke? I feel... When you, say, when, you say, when you say fart. Oh, yes. No, no, no. It's, uh, no. Well, in, in, I don't in, think we inhaled the gas leak, bro. Yeah. It wasn't this. Uh, <laughs> no, wait, that was... It got cut. It wasn't the circle, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. This thing looks like a bad CGI movie creature. Of course it does. You are living an adventure based on your own shark exploitation script. What do you expect the shark to look like? What did I expect? I didn't expect anything. I don't even know what the hell is happening right now. Well, I don't think we inhaled the gas leak, bro. <laughs> but I think we're about to fart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You set me up for that one though. What were you guys saying? I remember when we were filming it, I really badly, not, not trying to make you guys laugh, but you probably will, I fart. really badly wanted to actually fart for the realism of the scene. I think on one take it happened that it was perfectly farted. Jesus, yeah, why uh, wouldn't you? Well, I, mean, why well, I can't you? do it on a command. I'm not well, a fucking no, college saying, girl on a website. Especially because Emilio was at height. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was right in your face there, bro. We got to do six more takes. Well, I was saying, if, if you were able to f fart on a command, that would be amazing. I mean, I guess people can do it. Yeah, there was a very famous uh, performer in the 18th century, I think, in France, which is in France, called Le Petoman. And apparently he was able to fart, not only fart uh, on command, but he could actually modulate his farts. And uh, apparently he was uh, performing the national anthem by farts uh, and uh, playing a flute uh, and uh, blowing off a candle. Where is this documented? You know it's a quality movie when five minutes in, the episode is all about farts. Wait for them to hear this. There's actually a movie called Le Petoman, made in Italy with Ugo Tognazzi as Le Ugo? Petoman. Ugo? Ugo. Also, centuries, 1800s, 1700s, 1900s. Also, something like that. Yes. Keeping it once again in house, our very own SRS Cinema has for sale Fart the Movie, which I don't know why we haven't saw, and sought this what out. What is it about? Yet. Say it, Bomber, the real Gazoo, Slice City, the little sneaker, Low Flying Ducks, SBD. Silent but deadly. Innocent little wisps of wind. Flatulence. I squeeze off a couple of steamers. And let's not forget probably the most uh, popular fart sequence. Uh.
Blazing Saddles stands it's, out I, because there's no fart movies that people would almost objectively consider this is going to sound funny, elevated fart humor. And it's not even that it's elevated fart humor, it's just that it's in such a beloved, sharp, satirical classic that it's one of the rare occasions that's like, all right, if there were to be elevated fart humor, I can only think of the Blazing Saddles camp fart scene. Yes, and it's and that's especially because it's uh, something that a lesser director would have done probably three farts, and that's it. Instead, it becomes, it is uh, so exaggerated that it becomes uh, genuinely... Hilarious. Well, you know what also works is that it, I just thought of this. You've probably thought of this, but I think it's also the realism of cowboys sitting around a fire would be eating yes. nothing but beans. So it's the hilarious. Like you might see that in a western, <laughs> and then me and you would cackle on the couch watching me with dad. Like, man, I bet they're far tonight. Mel saw that that is how it would be. And like, what's the obvious thing there? Yes. yes. And uh, there is also the incredibly popular movie Arrivano i Gatti where they actually play the fart game, which is... Uh... Oh, cominciamo con la prima signora bionda, ecco, si alzi, si, perfetto, si segga. Oh, 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 oh. benissimo, e adesso con la signora laggiù, così distinta. Per carità, io non le faccio male. <laughs> e adesso tu Susi amore mio fanne una per me lei signore lei che ride tanto su wait there's a uh, movie about this it is, is a part of a movie oh and on this exact topic I uh, my mom regularly cackles at the stuff you put into jams but I have never seen her more genuinely uncontrollably lose her shit just not able to collect herself than when you put farts in the and it was like a 10 second clip put farts over a 10 second ballerina clip mom what she lost it she could not compose herself again this is an important conversation i'm Apologies. being serious because <laughs> Farts do, are definitively comedic. We should do a TikTok. All about farts. Well, no, a fart uh, channel. F dancing and farts. It's funny. Yeah. Dancing with the farts. Oh. That's great. That's right, laddie. Jumbo, jumbo. So do we want to spend the entire episode talking about farts, or should we actually no, we talk about to... Herbie the Love Bug's super African adventure? <laughs> yes. Let's talk about doo-doo. Uh, so the, the protagonist, oh. whose name, uh, stage name uh, for the American market, or international market, rather, is Jimmy Bondi, but his real name is... Uh, Rudolph. Jean Gruber. Something ah, yes. like that. Uh, he is uh, also a co-writer of the movie and uh, a director. And How many writers were there? Hans Two. Gruber crow wrote this? All of you relax. This is a matter of inconvenient timing. That's all. Police action was inevitable. And um, he had a face of somebody who is uh, perennially constipated. He never, yeah, it's... very scrunched up. Who are we talking about? Our lead. Yes. Well, how about it? Shall we two become partners? Who yeah. was the... White guy. The, yeah, sure. The I, guy, I know who you're talking about. The guy with that cowboy hat. And the the guy who was with... Not the guy in the hovercraft. The guy no, in the, hovercraft the guy, is and the the guy who drove a doo-doo for the most time of the movie. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, what, a, what a fucking mess. Yes. What an absolute but, but fucking hold on. mess. I want, I want to say something because, yes, we're going to get into it, but I do want to say, at least for me personally, such a crazy mess, so jarring. Like I said, I can honestly say it felt like a dream trying to recollect random fragments. You don't know how they connect. But I was not bored and not tormented, and I was actually kind of... I mean, in fairness, there's a cute jungle animal every five seconds. Yes. There's a, a dumb 
fall down gag every five seconds. The characters are upbeat and kind of like. So, but, I mean, but like in a kids movie, they cut a. I mean, I know this is how they actually survive in the wild, but they cut a cow's uh, throat. Drink. No, a cow's jiggly throat flap. It's not like it's not like this. It's like there's a jiggly turkey flap, and they cut oh, that. Oh, it's connected to their neck, and I'm sure that's what the veins are for. The, yeah, uh, okay, for a kids' movie, yes. Pour blood yeah. into um, uh, a thing, and then the guy has to drink it, all of it. And there is also a hilarious scene where he gets uh, the same guy gets bitten by a cobra. I was afraid of that. Oh, oh. I think. I think it bit me. There, that, that beastie over there. What are you going to do with that knife? Cut me open? I've got to get the venom out. Venom? What makes you think that's a venomous snake? That snake's a cobra. Who? And what gives you the idea that it's a venomous cobra? And they dis dis discuss half an hour if it's poisonous and not poisonous, <laughs> I mean, rather than actually Listen. attending the... Now take a good look. How can you hold that thing? I can see you need some education. All cobras are venomous. Oh. Take a look at those fangs. Oh. A couple of drops of this venom are enough to kill ten men your size. Well, why didn't you kill the beast? This is on... I, I, want, to, I want to get back to all this funny stuff, but this is on topic and just on camera. I honestly want to hear what you guys think because this happened the other night and I wanted opinions. It's on the subject if you put this in a kids movie. I don't think it is. I'll try to be brief because I do want to discuss all the craziness of this. But I was at box office and a couple of kids who look like older teenagers came up to see Terrifier. <laughs> Bought five two. tickets for it, Terrifier 2. And uh, there were two little girls with them who were so tiny that... that the counter in front of it, it was like they kind of could rest their chin on it. And I probably have literally never felt so conservative in my life. And I spent the whole interaction trying to hold back, not knowing if it would be rude or stepping boundaries. Like, do you guys know what this movie is? And at the end, I asked them, kind of just trying to be like, I asked people this and they're buying tickets. Oh, have you seen the first one? And like two of them were kind of like, yeah. But they almost said in a way, they're like, oh, you know, I mean, yeah, I'm not going to say I didn't. And uh, I found myself really like, Teenagers, I would never say anything like a 13 year old and a 12 year old, but like these were two little girls. Like I said, her chin like rested on the counter where you put your hand. And I just really was like, even like a Jason or a Freddy, it seems a little more good. But this one is like all about the hey, for five minutes, he's just slicing him open. And I was like, is it just me? Am I getting old? Or I was like, what do you guys think? I was kind of like, the truth is getting old, sucks, but everybody's doing it. Again, not a teenager, not even like a 12-year-old, but like they were like, like this girl came up to my hip. It was like a little girl. You measured it? <laughs> I was like, hold on, bring it around here for a second. Um, yeah, right in Terri front. Terrifier 2 is unrated, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you can legally bring in any, you can bring a baby to an R-rated film. Right? Oh, no, I'm you sorry. It is unrated, but I think we have it as R on my thing. How, that, how does that make sense? Uh, I think they just have to do something. Technically, it's unrated. Okay. But I don't know. I was just, I was very surprised. But I mean, by, if, you, if you wanted to bring a toddler to a. Our, our, our well, technically, if you're you 21, can't. you can bring in anybody. Anyone. You can bring in anybody. That's how dad took us to the Matrix. Again, that's not a comparable example at all. But I was very surprised by how much I wanted to be like, do you guys know what this is? <laughs> you're turning into Spielberg, who changed the gun with radios in ET. Really? Soft man, yeah, you used to be cool. This world's making me nauseous, and so next year you'll start uh, listening to Barry Manilow. At the Cobra, Cobra Cabana. But Terry, are you, are you really picturing like an act? I'm not talking I'm about joking, I'm joking, yeah, man, that's crazy. <laughs> they probably didn't know what they were going to see. No, is no, but the, the, the reason I bring it up is because that joking or not, that was what I felt like you're this guy, but it was just again, never for a teenager, never for a 12, 10, 9, okay, but I don't know, they just were so they look like little, like. Eh, I got my bear. And I was like, art just goes and... It's mostly because uh, there are two things. One, yes, you're getting older and somehow 
there is a part oh, of... God, I feel uh, sick. Cut this part out. I thought you guys were going to be like, yeah, it's totally terrifying. <laughs> no, I, I, uh, I didn't the, care. I totally sold the tickets. I didn't care is, about it. There is that. And the other thing, uh, which uh, probably wouldn't have happened uh, for other movies, you did see this movie, and you did see how over the top is. It's, it's to a point that almost uh, makes you giggle. Mm -hmm. It did make us giggle. Yes, uh, because, but, but even, it, it's kind of like the sequence of the farts. Uh, three farts, uh, you say, uh, okay, ha, 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 and everything. Twelve fart or a concert of farts, uh, it becomes hysterical. That one is the same. Had he done uh, one-tenth, as, as I understand uh, from the interview that they were saying, it was supposed to be, the, especially the murder in the, in the bedroom, uh, you might have said, oh, my God, oh, but by going so over the top uh, in a plausible way, but still very intense, uh, then you may say, okay, this is definitely not for everybody. I think that's the thing, is it's that if it was just a Jason, a Freddy, or a, to use a more modern, a Smile, even a Barbarian, but there's something about Terrifier where... It's gore porn. Yeah, and I'm not, yeah, I'm not I saying also, that dismissively. I, also... I obviously fucking love this movie, but I don't know. There was just something like, the girl's literally this tall, I don't know. I just wanted to bring it up because I felt like, do you guys know? I also think that... Just specifically Terrifier 2, not horror movies in general. I also think that they may not even process it the same way we would as in, in the visceral nature of cutting up another human being while you can see gore and violence i think especially kids nowadays just grow up seeing it everywhere ah! uh, so i think you're even more desensitized in our generation of course um but i think it's just the fact that they may not even understand what they're seeing or even be paying attention to the movie possibly i'm, I'm surprised that the uh... or the guy's just like oh i want to get out of the house i'd take the kid you're gonna sit through this yeah I'm surprised that, that uh, there haven't been uh, uh, more protest about this movie. Because uh, uh, even if, yes, it's word of mouth and you say it's going to be... Uh, I mean, people can feel sick uh, while watching it. And and, and I, I, I can see why. For, for But I'm surprised that there is not... Kind of like I, I was thinking of a Sausage Party. Be bathed by the hands of a god. <laughs> oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are caught. Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh God, my skin! She's feeling me oh, fucking oh, skin! Fuck! Oh, Jesus, you fucking whore! The eyes, they burn! No, please, no! I forgot the familia! That a lot of people completely oblivious uh, of what it was, brought kids uh, thinking that it was another Pixar-ish uh, movie, and instead it's a, it's, a, it's a cartoon, but it's a mature, or, or rather CGI, but with mature content. Do you know how many people walk up and just, I don't know if I'm just like, okay, you're a movie nerd. This is like a, a classical trained guitarist who can do an infinite scales getting mad at a kid who can only do a power chord. But like the amount of people that walk up, like, yeah. So do you have uh, what? Is, what is that? The um, the the ho the hollow hollow. Ho what is it? The Halloween? Do you have the uh, the parrot 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 ticket? The ticket. What is it called, honey? And I'm like, are you guys just like, eh? I get a burger. What's over here? I walk by the MC. What is that? Julia Roberts ticket. I guess I'll like again. I know I'm just a fucking at this point next to this one and with this as a pseudo career. It's like I'm slavishly into the movies. But the amount of fuckers just walk up like, yeah, what is it? Uh, you guys are the bar, bar, the bear, bar. You got tickets to par, pet. I mean, I'm like, what the fuck is with you people? It's the same way you treat your health. Two, fucking, Shay. Flaw. No, I'm serious. Because like, mom is aghast at having. Even Mateo's like, you want to go to the doctor? I'm like, no, I don't give a fuck. That's exactly right. They don't give a fuck. They got live stuff. They just want to get out and see a movie. They don't know what it is. They're probably gonna sit there and fucking half pay attention. They got a kid with them. They're scarfing down popcorn. Anyway, that was just a joke. I would, I wouldn't care if a three year old saw Terrifier. I'm not old. I don't feel that way. Mateo's going to cut that out. I feel weird inside. Anyway, so do do. Yes. I mean, if it wasn't such... A, I mean, the emphasis of Terrifier is... That's what I'm saying. Specifically Terrifier 2. Not all harm. But then again, like I said, I don't think the... They won't look, they won't look at it that way. They might not see it that way, but also I think the, the, the real... Can we find them and ask how they Shock. Do yeah, that's what I was... Like, I was uh, hoping you would... No, that was... Them. It was half and half. Half of me was like, wait, do you? And then half of me, quite observant, was just like, I want to sneak in and just see. 
Like, are the girls going to be like, whatever, like you said, they're not watching, they're staring at their feet, they're bored, or... I don't know. But you, just... you have to be 21 to bring in... Someone under 18 to an R-rated film? Mm-hmm. 346 minutes later. Could, okay. have been, could have been two kids and one on top of the other. Like, you understand that the counter, when you put your hands on, her chin was about, like, okay, right there. Okay, stop, stop talking about that. That's very uncomfortable. Well, she was literally resting her chin on her front. She was? Yeah. On your lap? <laughs> Wait! Hold on! And me in my love bug And we'll cross the finish line for them I'll be first, I'll be first, I'll be first, I'll be first Doo-doo is a lovely yellow bug But this is indicative, where the, where the fuck do we start with this movie? <laughs> yeah Terrifier 2 and farts I also think Terrifier 2 Missed the mark on psychological terror aspect which maybe is not what it's meant to do no, i don't think it is i don't think it is 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 intended to be scary as tension yeah is more scary as it's a it it what i what i told you when we uh somehow we had an out of body experience and we left the the apartment uh, but only in spirit to watch terrified well you remember episode oh, yeah, 12 you, i can teleport no no, teleport. no no we astral only inside the house we astral projected we astral projected um, we vomit projected. We asked her directed. And um, Terrifier is uh, Saw with humor. Yeah, okay, yeah. So maybe the first one vaguely there was some attempt at tension someone was just saying that someone was like i missed the first saw what it became after was very different but that first one is yeah. almost like a detective thriller right and you get the traps so the second one on was like trap trap yes. trap trap and and no home alone one home alone two i mean not comparable but twice as long of, i do remember yeah. like oh my god twice as long in the second yeah uh, but the that is the i i think well, you know what? The reason I think Terrifier works is because I, being me, have, of course, read endless articles. Even the ones flat out hating, it's garbage, it's trash, whatever, every single review says, but Art, guy yeah. playing him, gifted physical performer, first rate creepy, my God, he works. If the review despises the movie, they still mention Art yeah. works. Yeah. And so that's why I think it is, like we've talked about, it doesn't reinvent the slasher at all, but Art is a fucking instant icon. You well, get it, he works, and the Home Alone style yes. tools and kills. And the gore is no. ph phenomenal, and it's in this very James Bond, old school James Bond, in the way you have gadgetry and Art builds his own gadgetry, almost like, yes. He's, yes. like he's his own, own cue, crafting his own tools. And if you think about it, with a sole exception uh, I th that I can come think of, of the genius of Robert Englund, this is it, Jennifer. Your big break in TV. Fuck the prime time, bitch. But uh, all these monsters are excellent when they don't talk. When they're just... Uh, and, and he hmm. had uh, this uh, gifted physicality that... Michael Myers doesn't have because Michael Myers, by nature, is uh, just like very Stoic. stiff and just they like, walk and never runs. And uh, Jason, uh, um, in the original uh, series, he doesn't run either. He's he's there yeah. for some reason. He catches up to you in the new one. In the the um, uh, <coughs> what's it called? Michael Bay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was it was Michael Bay, right? <laughs> Normally, those monsters are always uh, walking. Yeah, uh, there is, and uh, plus art takes a humor, of Freddy, and still, art, and still remains silent. Yes, and art is uh, by being a yeah, clown is a pantomime. Awesome. 
and it's and it's. But perfect. I guess I'm thinking in the way of I remember something like Midsummer, uh, when you're watching and just feel genuinely genuinely sick and uncomfortable with watching that. Uh, Wait, you did have that effect with Midsummer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I mean, because I, mean, I thought I ruined it so much with the hype. You when really I... built it up, yeah. But I mean, you still. Because I've never experienced that before. I'm not that type of guy at all. I laugh at people that have this experience, and I literally had to stop myself. No, from but I'm the saying, if, if I think if anyone, one of us was going to get sick during a film, it's from that psychological aspect, and also just the the nature of them already being on the hallucinogens and realizing you're stuck in the middle of fucking I don't nowhere. Want to people, was it? Was the line? I'm not okay. Oh fuck! It's a new person. What? I don't want new people <sighs> right now. But it's just that uncomfortable, um, trapped, stuck in your own head, overanalyzing, uh, which I think would make me feel sick during a movie versus gore. But then again, there's, uh, there's, I don't know if you've seen Fibla Tifasi. Fibla Tifasi. Fibla Tifasi. I have the, the director's cut. Which is a Fibla Tifasi. Flesh. Girl eats flesh. Uh, flesh song eaters, that yeah. they're crawling in the blackness. Oh, uh, raw. Raw. Uh, oh. There's a scene where. <laughs> and after that, I'm like, oh, okay, that no, made me feel. I think she was nibbling, but I think what made me sick was the fact that she picks up the thumb because her sister passes out from the fact that she just cut her own thumb off. And then her younger sister is starting to get a taste for human flesh. Um, so she uh, uh, picks up the thumb, it drips a little blood, she pulls it up and just sickeningly, uh, just very raw and just real in terms of how yes. something like that would happen. And I remember being so physically uh, sickened by that that I kind of got up. I'm like, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Just breathe through. Just breathe through. I'm like, I don't normally get that effect. So I'm always impressed when no. uh, gore or any, anything can, do, can produce that. I remember of having uh, something like that during <clears throat> the final, uh, the, the reveal, if you will, of uh, The Brood by David Cronenberg. It's a very weird twist of thing, and uh, I don't think I've seen it. A it's a very nice, a very fine movie, uh, like Doo Doo. It's not the car that counts; it's the driver. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> and also, Return of the Living Dead Part Three, when she hurts herself in order not to. Oh. And I think that one of the one of the reasons why I, I can't vouch for Raw, but I'm sure for uh, Return of the Living Dead Part Three, is that um, is not CGI. is is real. It's practical effect, and is done so well that you get the visceral um, effect yeah. of uh, uh, flesh being pierced and yeah. sliced and cut versus uh, CGI. That uh, for whatever good it is. Uh, the terrifier works uh, very well because of that because it's actually yeah. real those the, the the effects are the, the, they are practical and so you have that connection you may have the greatest actor in the world when they actually do something physical works uh, uh, that's why uh, even uh, human centipede i mean the human centipede trilogy are all very distinctly different films yes. totally um good but, accomplishment in itself yes uh, but in the first one, yeah, also that kind of, oh, God, okay, when you, for the first time, the doctor is so excited to see the three of them combined. Yes. Um, and it's not even an extreme vision, but it's like you said, you imagine yes, what exactly. the... exactly. Yeah. Uh, compared to the uh, gore fest of the second one, uh, which I think the black and white obviously helps tone down, but even the um, dragging people into there and then he keeps cutting the back of their knee oh, uh, yes. tendon. 
Um, and then the, the lady who was running out and uh, who, who was pregnant gives birth to her baby in the car. The fetus slips underneath the gas pedal. She steps on the gas, cr crushes the baby, and drives off. Where was I going with this? So Doo-Doo the talking, <laughs> crying yes. car. There's a scene in Doo-Doo where the fetus uh, was split. No. So all right, listen, this, are, is, this, is, this is a classic wacky races, cannonball run. We are all wannabe. wannabe. We're all trying to get to the trophy at the end of this race and so and so. We all got crazy cars. We're all crazy characters. No plot I, beyond I, that. Actually, before that. Right? There's no plot beyond that. This is an attempt There's to no capitalize on the love bug by Disney. Yes. This is blatantly an attempt uh, from Germany to say, wait a second, we invented Volkswagen. We have a saying on that. Uh, here, uh, what Disney made uh, back then, uh, made four films about uh, Herbie. We made five. Did and, they? Yes. And then there's five of those. There's five of these. Wait, so which one is this? This is the, fir the, the first one, the, 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 the uh, official one, when, when they uh, wheel in Herbie destroyed okay. uh, and it gets reassembled. But. but uh, but why, why would you but, not make them alive throughout the movie? But, very cunningly, the... I think you forgot a T. I'm not sure... Thank you. I'm not sure if uh, it was also in the German one, because uh, I don't speak German, but the English poster... But I can if you like. I'm sorry? No. <laughs> the English poster, and I think also the DVD, says, uh, Look who's back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. As in, uh, oh, you remember Herbie? Yeah. Uh, 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 look who's back, uh, look who's back. Who's Without back? mentioning it. But it, who's who's back? back? But they don't have the car be alive. They mention diamond yes. smugglers but and they don't they, talk about they, they talk about the diamonds throughout? Do they talk remember about the... 1971, there was no internet. You say, oh, it's another talking Volkswagen. It must be Wait, Herbie. Wait, have you seen all five? I've seen uh, at least the three. I'm what not sure. What the fuck sure. are you doing to yourself, man? You're killing yourself. I, yeah, well, look at how I am now. I, I, was, I look like Brad Pitt when I was 18. And I'm old. All Dudu wanted was for someone to simply come with him and have fun in his buggy. Come in him? Come in him and... Come with me for jizz All in right. my bug. <laughs> okay, so we can set it up as a classic... We're on a race. We keep getting sidetracked. There's perils and dangerous. Oh, you were talking about the, the jiggly cow slit, which got me on Terrifier, and then we had a whole left turn, oh, which was pleasant. Yeah. Which was the, the genesis of the show, and we pitched it to it's ourselves. It's just not what you would see as a classic funny kids. Oh, the car is talking. Well, okay, there's a lot of realities of the jungle. There's the terrifying cheetah with an eye, which I hope is just stock footage because it's got yes. a red eye. I think that, yes, there's this, the, this movie looks like they got uh, a bunch of, yeah, of uh, stock. Uh, stock footage and they build a story around it. In fact, at a certain point, there is even a, a cobra battling a mongoose and it doesn't end. It's just like, okay. Nothing ends. Nothing it just ends, cuts away. yes. Ooh. Hey, will you look at him go there? He's a brave little fellow, all right? And the boat are still missing somewhere in the swamp. Oh yeah, because the abrupt cuts are very uh... because they have that, and it's uh, in in the other movies that hopefully please 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 please, 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 please I will find them all in English. I can't. I can't. And we'll... I, can't. <laughs> I think Matthew was flat out passed out at one point. Wait, there is a there is a in the he fell asleep in the uh, third. It flies. Auf Wiedersehen, Jungs. <sighs> It has a. It, it has a propeller. They in this fly one. now. Oh, they fly now. They fly now. They fly now. Uh, it has a propeller. Wait, no, but that's that's the thing. Uh, this, <laughs> well, the Fed had a jetpack forever. Yeah, he's so fucking stupid. It's just like okay, let's get a trailer line. I'm it gonna say this on like camera, so we're forced into doing it. Rise of Skywalker hate episode on the first episode of either Well Worn Territory or Beats a Dead Horse. No, fuck that no, movie. Trite night. Trite night. Because we're being trite, or the movie's trite. We're being trite. We're being trite. We're gonna be trite. Works for everyone else. This part probably I will cut. Yeah, cut this <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Um, they need to know it's coming. <laughs> What's coming? Which is what my scoutmaster said. They need to know who's coming. A lot of guys coming at once in this cabin. He 
made it. All right. In the subsequent movies, uh, Dudu will receive a voice uh, and uh, a computer, and uh, it will become even more deliberately sentient. And he can make choices uh, and... Um... Dudu will receive a voice. Sounds like something a fecal obsessed mad scientist would say. Beady body boop. Beady body yeah. It's me, not a look. Not a, not a. Here I am. Hello, Noddy. Oh. oh, God, we can't do it, guys. We can't. Okay, look. There are it's just, it's lions just, and tigers and bears oh my. and there jump are, cuts tigers, and tigers a hovercraft. This in Africa. And, a, and the car cries once. Yes. But otherwise, it's not alive. There's racial stereotyping of Asians as all being Oh, Chinese. the, the yes. Chinese-Japanese <laughs> joke. This is ridiculous. All this racing about, and what do you get for it? Your bones broken. You mean you came all the way from China just to crash into a tree? I'm from Japan. Well, you must have trees in Japan. You like that man, huh? Are all men in China so nosy? I'm from Japan. It's not even a joke! He no. just corrects, she just assumes he's Chinese in twice. twice. In fairness, he corrects her that he's see Japanese. see what they were aiming for. I corrected you. We went through a scene. The tag is that I did the same dumb mistake again. You can see yeah, what they were Yeah, but you do that for. with your stupid character, the sheriff. You don't do that with your professional doctor, yes. love interest, whoever the fuck she is. Who the Who? fuck was she? Look, that's Doctor Joe. She seems to be in trouble. I don't know, but she kept on pulling up her pants. That was her what? signature. She was memory. wearing her husband's clothing. What about the people? Yes. Oh yeah. Her what about the people clothing. that took the? What the fuck happened? What the fuck was this about? That's why I said it's like what a dream fuck? trying to recollect. I was in a mall. I met my uncle. Then I was in a waterfall. I was in a raft. Like... Oh, and then she had a, a son uh, they... who was probably five uh, with the voice of a twenty-year-old. Mommy, mommy, the nurse wants you to come and give the children the shots. No, oh, like it's hers, fella, don't you? mommy's. You wouldn't mommy, want to see him tell him shot, to leave huh? me alone, mommy. You leave my boy alone. Why mommy. can't you go on alone? Oh wait, the guy was gonna take her. The they guy... went eighty miles out of their way to save the baby who needed an injection, and then the baby swallowed the spoon. The swallowed the spoon <laughs> line. That's what I want to talk about. Wait, the wait, swallowed. Wait, 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 what baby? The baby that they drove when eighty they, miles they, out of the way of the they race to. When they the captain of the plane, uh, who is uh, happens to be in the rally. And they said that the nun tells him... Uh, Maybe you could drive us to the mission. The baby is very sick and has to be operated on. We don't have any more seats in the car. That doesn't matter. We can sit on the floor. Will you drive us there? Well, you Wait see, a nurse, we... we're well ahead of everybody. But if we make this detour, we don't have a chance of winning the money. Did you say money? I have Maybe. no idea what the fuck the words are I have no idea saying. what's going on. Uh, but they, when, they, when the they guys say, baby oh my off. God, the jungle... The lions and the, the injections. Uh, what what is uh, say? Wait, when uh, after the after the car blows up? No, before that. Is after uh, is between uh, him being uh, bitten by a cobra and the car blowing up. There's a lot that um, the baby in between there. The baby <laughs> swallowed the spoon, and we thought that meant the baby was eating his food. But then, how's the boy? He's very well now. He even swallowed his spoon. Well, what can you do when a pretty nurse needs help? Well, you never know. You might swallow a spoon yourself. Attention, Nick. Not me. There's rain reported. I'm vegetarian. Get back on the road. Remember that? No, I You think guys were like, that just means the baby was being fed. But then, like, the the, the Scotsman yeah. says, oh, I almost swallowed a spoon. But I think it's like, oh, I was eating so fast, I almost swallowed my spoon. Like a saying. What would it mean? Is a popular saying. How was it used? You <laughs> might be right. Just take they your saved foot. the baby. Just take your foot in your hand. Just take your foot in your hand. That, that means, means hurry, hurry up. up. Was that? That means hurry up. Just Ron take and Natalie? In your hand, yeah. Was Ron and Natalie? Yeah. It, what? Binya, binya. Take your foot in your hand. That means mean? hurry up. Which I assume is like. Yeah, like because this. it is, is a, an incredibly uncomfortable way to move. You're not going to walk faster with it. No. 
Babies do it all the time, they're stupid as hell. And now, signori e signori, we have the honor to present the salto del... Il salto del canguro zoppo, salta ad ostacolo senza ostacolo, l'ostacolo è umano e trrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
movies like uh, Vanishing Prairie and uh, I mean documentaries rather, um, uh, Mystery of the Sea or whatever it was called, where the Dongs were... of the Serengeti. <laughs> Yes, that was one of the most popular ones. Make the poster and we'll put in the episode. Um, I was imagining an elephant leaving a trail in the sand. <laughs> when, yes. there were only, when there were two trails in the sand. Okay. That was because I, I was carrying your dog. But that's exactly the point. Disney would show only the elephant walking. This, mo- this documentary was showing... Whatever was left, whatever was cut because... You want to see the back of this thing? <laughs> exactly. The but back end of... <laughs> this but, summer, Disney presents the back end of nature. <laughs> Assholes, dogs, balls. But for instance, uh, the... Uh, in, 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 this document, in this documentary, uh, the, there is a real scene of a monkey that gets uh, um, crushed by a boa constrictor or something like that. So you watch that and you say, oh my God, that's, that's horrible. But it validates everything else uh, in the documentary that the vast majority is actually built for dramatic purposes, including the guy who gets out of the car and gets eaten by eaten by lion with Carlo Rambaldi moving levers. Who's inside the body? <laughs> that's actually so, no, the fir- incredibly the first... fascinating. Sorry, indigestion. Have you got? You guys have heard the rumor that on the original roller coaster of love, the scream in the beginning was a woman being murdered in the adjacent studio. Ow. Listen to the original. I don't know why I say the original, just because I. The Red Hot Chili Peppers. Off of the Beavis and Butthead soundtrack. Yeah. I was just talking about. Also, uh, but the, the original, Power Rangers, the movie soundtrack. The original version of Roller Coaster of Love. Mateo, I'm surprised you haven't heard this. That no, I didn't understand what you were saying. Oh. <laughs> no, I just can't understand when you <laughs> flap your lips. Wait, who, is, uh, who did the original version? On the original version? Roller Coaster of Love, in the intro of the song, there's a scream in the background. The urban legend is that that was a scream of a woman being murdered in the adjacent studio. Oh, yeah, Why I would you rent a studio to murder someone? Because the, the acoustic is much better. Oh, that's true. I, thank you. I was like, there's a punchline there. Not he threatened enough. several times to kill me in public. <laughs> Why do you want to kill me in public? Well, if you hear uh, uh, Sweet Home Alabama at the begin, the very beginning, as it opens, that there is the... the uh, you hear... What was he referring to? To turn up the sound, uh, I of, guess uh, in his uh, in his uh, that makes it a bedfellow with I have no snare in my headphones. Off and Eminem's eventually, cleaning off my closet. And eventually, they they Clean liked off. it and they left it in the song. But it was not uh, it was not intended. Like uh, uh, the urban legend of uh, Judy Garland singing "Clang Clang Clang" goes the trolley, and uh, at a certain point, she arrives at the end of the song, and uh, rumor has it, and Liza Minnelli. Uh, validated that. He tipped his hat and took the seat. He said he hoped he hadn't stepped up on my feet. He asked my name, I held my breath. I couldn't speak because he scared me half to death. Jog, jog, jog with the motor. A friend of Judy Garland wandered into the studio where they were filming and, and as she was uh, singing and she stopped, uh, he yells, Hi Judy! And she makes a face uh, like this, but she doesn't say the, the director doesn't stop, so she kept on singing. I couldn't speak because he scared me half to death. Damn. And it's and and everybody says, oh, but he says it in time with the music. He looks like this in the music. You would say it in time with the music. It's just like something that you cannot avoid. It's, it's kind of like when like the Bobby McFerrin video. Ooh. Yes. Uh, do, ah. do we up? Do we up? Ooh. Ah. Your knowledge of bullshit is limitless. And uh, Bobby the Ferret did it slightly better, but yes, it's that. Bobby the Ferret? Bobby the Ferret, yes, is a very popular... It's it's uh, in the documentary Dong of the Certain <laughs> For some reason... It was uh, the it's only ferret. It's narrated by Robert the Ferret. The only ferret. I'm Mickey Rooney, and welcome to Dogs <laughs> of the Serengeti. Get your car off the track, buddy! Get up! Where do we run over Get you? Get up the 
the track! Where, where the hell are we? Okay, this, we were uh, talking about doo doo. So doo doo. Doo doo is not, definitely is not my mother the car. Mother? Now, son, take it easy. You'll probably go through the roof when you hear this, but this is your mother talking. David, I've come back. Oh! David, be careful, you'll break your collarbone again. Are you all right, dear? Listen, this is like you took an entire, entire season of Hannibal Barra's Wacky Races, cut off like a minute from each episode, and then constructed an episode made out of minutes of all this entire episodes. All aboard for the roller coaster! But do you see what I mean that it's not like, it just incredibly jarring in some weird way that it's hard to follow, but not without a sense of lighthearted fun. No. And I wasn't horrifically bored like I was, it was one of the worst for me on the I show. I mean, it, it was, was like a, Rats was bad. Rats, Rats was, was pretty bad. bad. But no, it, this one is, is, it was bizarre because it was also mixing miniatures. Uh, like, that was a little car. Yeah, that yes. was pretty cute. It, it, Especially it, when he's hugging the hut at the end, trying to hide from... Uh... Yes. Dudu, where are you? Doo doo. But what? But Wait, what was the? What did he say? The guy, the boat hover guy, guy wanted to take the him. The hover guy That's wanted he was to saying? take him away. The, the to couple use him. wanted to buy him. He wanted to meld him with his boat. He wanted to use his engine for the boat, and apparently he did. But we didn't see him take it out. No. And then at the end, and still he, somehow Doo Doo still have. Yeah. Uh, but that's the thing. Doo Doo is constantly getting different attachments, like he's a, uh, um, a car that. It's kind of like almost a James Bond. Uh, he is getting different. Yeah, like it has the swans when it goes into the water. It has the propeller. Oh my god! Uh, this is like a freaking dream. I'm remembering all of this it as has, you say it. It has train, the, 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 the train. Train uh, wheels. Train. Uh, reminds me of um, the Ghostbuster which, which Filmation are, uh, car, which always keeps transforming into a plane or getting different. Yeah. Kind of, I mean, I guess a million cars have done it. Um, but the OG Ghostbuster with the gorilla. Uh, their car oh, always okay. mu uh, mutate and transform into different well, that, parts. That's, um, that's why in the... In the it's like Inspector Gadget. Just like, what, what is Yes, that? in the subsequent movies, uh, it even has a propeller to fly. And uh, it has... Uh, it talks. Jumbo, jumbo. And uh, so it's a very... Like, I see what they were going for, but... What the fuck are you thinking? <laughs> well, I think... Uh, it's my... I, I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> that was the Roger only... Ebert. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think... Uh, uh, this is just like, me speculating something. I think that this uh, was uh, an experiment to see. Okay, let's see if there is a market for a Herbie knockoff. So let's do it quickly and cheap as cheap as possible. So a uh, gajillion of stock footage from um, Africa. Let's uh, set it over there. We have footage from a race uh, somewhere yeah, in Africa. Kind of race, yeah. So, okay, that's, that's our main story. What do you think is the percentage if there was a pie graph of stock versus shot for the movie? It's all, I think it's almost like to say half and half. Yeah, I would say uh, half and half. Crazy. Because oh, no. you also only follow three, <laughs> three cars. Car, three cars, yes. And and I have to say that it's... A really, really big piece of shit. <laughs> yes. But I'll be brief. You have a couple of scenes of doo-doo with a lion uh, and the yes. sort of a savanna, yes. but it's just a like very quickly. It drives underneath a giraffe at the beginning. Yes. <laughs> that was very cute. That was very cute. Oh, look! A ferocious giraffe! Adorable um, miniature car driving under miniature giraffe. Yeah, well, that's what I'm like. We, we were saying that that the miniature scene of the miniature car hiding behind the hut when it starts to cry, he doesn't want to be sold or given away to right. anyone besides the guy. The protagonist. I imagine that that she has uh, created a bond with with him or some it's sort. A girl? No, Listen, while you're pissing over there, I fucked your living car. We're gonna drive off together now. I don't know because it's a, it's a bug. No, Wait, and then remember when the doctor she has a kid, who, the 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 other guy who's getting sewn up by the blonde girl from the yes. airplane at the beginning. She gets kidnapped by him, presumably to be raped because of the diamonds. 
Oh. Who's getting raped? The mom. Because somehow they find out that they have the diamonds. And how they get the diamonds? They have the diamonds because they stop uh, one of the guys uh, in the savannah that they cleverly um, immobilized by putting his hands in the pants and pulling... And then stuff. putting the and poison he, arrows inside his crotch. Yes, and he had... Uh, what? Remember uh, they were like... That's how we, yeah, he put two poison arrows like, like this and he has to walk. Uh, which, that way, you do, if you don't have handcuffs on you, you just tell someone to put your, their hands in their yes. pants. And you put poison you arrows did watch sticking this movie, at their right? neck. <laughs> Why did that happen? Uh, pretty early on. When did that guy get drunk and then start... What was Once he doing he when got he was drunk? Bitten by the cobra, he got drunk and then on blood. No, no, it was. Out then he grabbed alcohol. another snake, which attacked. He instead. thought he tried oh. to use the snake as a rope as because a he rope. was drunk. Yes, it's all coming back. And, and there's like there's gags. I'm like, dude, this should be a two second gag. Yes. How do you remember all this? How do you how re- do you remember all this? Listen, the guy who gets the car from his wife who buys it, saying, "Hey, there's a bunch of cars in Hollywood being sold for cheap. I bought you this bug. That's supposed to be Herbie." Yes. He's the guy who's driving with the Italian stereotype in the beginning. Yes. The car is driving all crazy because it doesn't want him. So then he hits a guy's bike and he's like, "Here, whatever. This car is crazy. We trade you so you have it. Yeah. Uh, so then he hires that old man from Phantasm, the tall man, to sabotage one of the racers, yes. but not to hurt them, but he ends up planting dynamite because and blowing up a truck of medical supplies for the local village. Wait, I, I don't think it was, it was destined to them, but because he, he heard somehow that they had this uh, rough diamond uh, and, and he wants them. All right, once again, this is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. Yeah! What are you on? Looks like a frying pan and some eggs to me. <laughs> How? Why would you not? How? How do you remember this? Them? Tell me. What <laughs> skills, I mean, I'm what sure skills you are you using? Slave labor to what skills are you using? You get yes. these, uh, diamonds out and you're giving them back to the company and then you're trying to try to help the village out with the money that you uh, made off of their own slave labor by giving it back to the uh, the clinic. Company? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they gave it all back to the clinic. They took the money from the race and from... Who won? They all won. They all won. Stop, Doodoo. Stop. Stop, I say. Stop. Doodoo. Stop. <laughs> the car is not alive until the last 20 seconds. Uh, but, but I'm sure we'll meet again soon. You liked Africa, didn't you? <laughs> Goodbye. Kwaheri. I just thought of something. How about running away? Who wants to kick this off? I don't even know how to vote on this thing. I know, I know exactly how I'm going to vote. Okay, so then you start. Here's how Jason's going to vote. You get one, two. You get three, four. One up from the lowest. Why, Mateo? Because you were entertaining anyways for the animals. That's and, a great guess, uh, but there's one specific reason I'm not doing the lowest. The tier of the... My man! When the car cried, despite the jumbled mess ahead of it, I guess I'm enough of a pathetic sap. I genuinely felt sad when the car was shedding a tear. And I think that's kind of indicative of, even if this was jarring, it has a weird, distorted charm. And yes, there are cute animals. So Jason gives it four because the car crying made me feel sad inside. And also, I didn't care if that little girl saw Terrifier. I'm not soft. I don't give a fuck if kids shoot up. I'm still hardcore and... A vulgarian. When were you ever hardcore? Ouch. A lot of truth on this episode. Mm. Don't feel good about myself. None of us do, man. Turn the club. All right. I <clears throat> I go with the same four because uh, as discombobulated as it is, uh, it actually made me... <laughs> it was like Prometheus. I genuinely wanted to understand what was going on. Understand. 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 And... Uh, it, it actually made me, just like kept me uh, uh, attentive throughout the movie because of that. I understand that. And it's, uh, I understand that. And I think that is, is, is funny. Do you think Zach Daggins can fight? Uh, yeah. 
Well, I think he can kick your ass. Well. <laughs> Like Bacon's grandma cookie. <laughs> I'm going to vote the same one, two, three, four, because as always, it wasn't the, it didn't commit the cardinal sin of being boring. Um, it kept me entranced in some weird You spell. did fall asleep for a little bit. Uh, that but I think you had a long day. Normally. Perfect shot. Yes, all in. Majama. Majama. So, guys, and by guys, I'm speaking to Paulo yes. and Spectre and my mom, who are the only three people that watch this, but we love them all Your very, mom is a guy? very <laughs> dearly. I need to leave. We need to find a way out of this house. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If yes. you've made it this far, drop a like and comment, which we should probably say in the beginning because no one makes it this far. Uh, thanks for sticking with us through one of the most discombobulated episodes. And guess what's coming up soon? It's Christmas. almost Christmas time on Majama Jams. So look forward to that. We'll probably have a couple of oddball Christmassy classics. We love you guys. We can't leave this apartment. It's starting to get to us. It started. It got to me about three months ago. That's true. Three weeks ago. Three. This is episode no. 30. <laughs> oh, my God. Six. Oh, my God. Yes. We've been here about a month and six days. Wait, how has it been... Halloween, now it's Christmas. Because time flies. What are you talking about? The time span of... A, fly, a fruit fly. A fruit fly is a day. Is, is a day. So, see? You got to make it count. Is that every day like a fruit fly? Yeah. A gay fly? Oh. Oh. Dad, what's a homonym? A gay nym? Rich Foss. All right, let's pull the plug. Wait, this episode's been going. We'll do another 10 minutes of rambling. <laughs> yep. Yep. <clears throat> it's fun. I'm not saying it. I just feel bad because you have to carve it up. I know. I just go home and I'm like, oh, there's a new episode ready. And you're like, I have to fucking. Uh, is, that, is a Nim a thing? What's up? Is a Nim a thing? Majama.